from Alabama, an ER nurse who came up here to travel. I'm here for 13 weeks. I work at Metropolitan in East Harlem. For every night at 7 o'clock, all the cheers go up for everybody on the front lines, and a gentleman comes out here to the balcony and he sings, and he's got the most beautiful voice. been out here about five nights. I've come out about at least a dozen times, uh, if not more. Hi, I'm Brian Stokes Mitchell. We are here on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Uh, the, uh, the idea to start singing on the, the balcony was kind of spontaneous. Uh, I had been suffering with, with COVID for uh, a, a couple of weeks, and it actually had moved into my lungs. And one of the things that I did to exercise my lungs was to sing. And it got to the point, finally, where um, I could sing without coughing. And that was the night that I actually, uh, when I was at the window, because I went there every night anyway to, to applaud all of the healthcare workers and the essential workers here. Uh, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to sing a song this time. So uh, I, I broke out into the impossible dream, and that's kind of how it started. The Impossible Dream is a bit of a signature song for me because I played Don Quixote on Broadway. It started to attract a crowd down on the street now. I'm not there to, to, to sing for them. I'm there singing in thanks to all the essential workers, the, the bus drivers, the MTA workers, the, the ambulance drivers, the NYPD, the fire department. I live right upstairs and have been listening to Brian Stokes Mitchell for the for the last couple of weeks. It's uh, been very inspirational, and the crowds out here sort of meaningful to, uh, that he himself had gone through that and uh, was really giving back to the community. People feel just a little bit better for that one or two minutes, uh, and just inspired, like you know, we're going to get through this. But I want to say thank you to all of you for showing up. Thank you to the NYPD and to the officers to our fire department, to our MTA, to the delivery people, to all of the people, the EMS workers that are keeping New York City going. And I hope that everybody continues to clap and cheer for everybody that's working so hard right now at 7 o'clock every night. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe. Keep loving one another. And the world will be better for this That one man scorned and covered with scars Still strove with his last ounce of courage To reach the unreachable And I'll do a big note for everybody standing here Stars! Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> you are so welcome. Thank you for listening.